Hi and welcome to this year's uh, introductory welcome video for the course in Applied IoT at Linnaeus University for the summer of 2023. So, uh, my name is uh, Fredrik Algren and I'm uh, the course administrator for this course. We are uh, this year uh, going to be um, a, a big team of teaching assistants and teachers and we're going to guide you through this journey of IoT. This is the fourth year we host this course at Linnaeus University and uh, we have had thousands of applicants every year uh, and about 200-ish uh, finished projects every year. So it has been an exceptionally uh, popular course and uh, I would say that the uniqueness of this course is what makes it uh, a really good course. That is that you are able to take on your own project. Uh, we do things a little bit different and that is that we emphasize on you uh, going to make your own project. And we emphasize the practical workshops that is you are going to build something in this course. The course will start uh, the 5th of June and we will continue on for five weeks. The last week of the course uh, will be the examination week. So uh, in, in, it will actually be four weeks of course material, uh, lectures and workshops. So I just want to say that it will be a quick pace. Uh, a lot of things will happen during those uh, five weeks when the course is ongoing. You are able to manage this uh, with uh, even doing other things during the day because we try to align as much as possible during the evenings and sometimes also during uh, the weekends. But it is flexible, so I'm just saying. Uh, this year we have also had the introduction of ChatGPT and other AI tools. So this year will be a little bit different in terms of examinations. That is actually, uh, I would say it will be more fun than ever before because this year everyone is going to do their own presentation. So that part is obligatory for each and every one of you this year. I would like to emphasize also that uh, this course is all about participation and uh, engagement. That is what makes this course what it is. Uh, we will have many teaching assistants in the course available almost all the time. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I also see that, I mean, in able to utilize this course and learn as much as possible, you need to be active as well. So please participate as much as possible and ask questions. Um, and it is an introductory course, I'm just saying. Uh, we will begin with the absolute basics. There is no problem for, if you, for you if you haven't experienced anything in IoT before. But also we have seen a lot of examples since previous years of uh, very advanced projects and people that, has, that is working within even the IoT industry or as developers that has also managed to leverage and learn a lot from this course. So, you can choose uh, your own path and actually evolve from that. But just to say, it is still an introductory course, so we'll start uh, with that as a baseline. So don't be afraid at all. We will go through everything this together. Um, this year, we are going to use the Raspberry Pi Pico uh, wireless as the bread and butter, the basic hardware of this course. So. Come on and I'll show you. This is the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. And um, 
we have chosen this board for uh, the course this year as the standard hardware. And just to note that this Pico is the wireless uh, 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 option. Uh, you can see that there is a Pico without the wireless uh, and that doesn't include the wireless chip. This is a really nice little device. It has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth and it, all, it is also very inexpensive, which is uh, a good thing. So this will be included in the standard package, which you will find links online in the bill of material. In the bill of material, when you buy the standard package, you will also get some kind of breadboard. A breadboard is a, a, a board where you can connect your sensors and devices. And this is just showcasing on how different sensors might look like. This is, for example, a DHT11 sensor, which measures temperature and humidity. A very cheap and beginner-friendly sensor that you will find in the standard package. You will also need a couple of wires. These will be included, so you don't have to worry about these things if you buy the standard package. So, to get started, that is what you need to do. And you need to order this as quick as possible. As I said before, when the course starts at the 5th of June, it is essential that you have all hardware needed. Because there will be no time for you to start ordering devices when the course has already started. And that is why we're doing this video early on. I also want to emphasize that we do have an add-on package, so you can buy the standard package and get started and you will be able to finish the course. But I would like to say that using LoRaWAN, which is one option, uh, that gives you an other possibility of connecting your device over a low power wireless network. Uh, this is sold as an add-on and you connect this with some wires to the microcontroller, the Pico. This you can also find in the bill of materials. Uh, it's not required for passing the course, but I would say highly recommended. Uh, because this is really uh, what a lot of things in IoT are about today. Not utilizing the Wi-Fi networks, but rather the low power uh, uh, long-range networks that gives a lot of new possibilities in developing your IoT projects. Um, <clears throat> so, um, what you need to do now is that you first need to check out the course information and bill of material. Make sure that you get hands on uh, material for starting the course. Also, and this is, might be equally important, join the Discord server. We are going to use Canvas as the, um, the main tool for keeping organization. You will do quizzes and you will also hand in your report. That will happen in Canvas. But all other information, all other communication, everything that happens in the course, that will take place in our Discord community server. You will have a link to this Discord server in the welcome mail. Please join in the Discord server. And if there are any questions, and I'm saying any questions, please ask them in the Discord server. Do not email me or anyone if there are any general questions about the course or hardware. Uh, we won't be able to handle all the inquiries if that is the case. That is why we need to push all information into the Discord server. With those words, I do welcome you to this year's introductory course in IoT at Linnaeus University. I really look forward in uh, hosting this year's course as well. 
and I do really look forward of meeting you all. And I also might mention, put the 21st of June in your calendar, as that is going to be our extraordinary 12 hour live stream day, which has been a tradition in this course uh, so far. So thank you very much and see you very soon.